Hey everyone, today we're making a really fun and refreshing and delicious cherry lemonade. This is a really easy recipe, just a few ingredients, and what a great way to cool down during these hot days, right? So we're gonna start off with some fresh cherries. Now you wanna make sure that the cherries are pitted, and I recommend chopping them up a little bit because that's gonna help release some of those juices. You can cut them in half, you can put them in the blender, or however you wanna do it. Take those cherries and add them to a gallon-sized pitcher. By the way, since it's cherry season, I just wanna tell you this, so fresh cherries will stay fresh in your refrigerator for about 10 days, but if you want them to last longer, you can actually put them in the freezer for up to six months. I recommend pitting them before, it's not required, but I recommend pitting them before you freeze them. It'll just save you, future you will be happy that you pitted them before putting them in the freezer. Let's just put it that way. So put them in the freezer, they'll last up to six months that way, just store them in a freezer bag, super simple. Okay, so you have your fresh cherries that you've added to the gallon pitcher. We're now gonna add in our sugar. You can use any sugar that you want. I'm using the turbinado, I just like the flavor profile, but you can use a regular old granulated sugar, your preference, add in that sugar. Next, we're gonna add in fresh lemon juice. So one quick way to get the juice out of the lemons when life gives you lemons is to pop them in the microwave. Just nuke them for about 20 seconds. By doing that, it'll actually make it easier to squeeze the lemons because it'll soften them up. But also by microwaving them for 20 seconds, it'll actually release more juice. So you'll get more juice out of the lemons. So you added in the lemon juice to the pitcher. Now we're gonna add in our water. Now I recommend adding in filtered water. It'll just make the flavor profile more clean and refreshing, but it's not required. By the way, if you have leftover lemon juice, don't toss it out. You can actually put it in a freezer bag or a storage container, put that in the freezer. The lemon juice will actually keep for about three months. So you could, you know, juice a whole bunch of lemons at once and then just keep making lemonade all summer long. Cherry lemonade all summer long, that is. Now that you have all the ingredients in the pitcher, just stick it in the fridge, let it stay there for about two hours. The sugar will naturally dissolve, so you don't have to, this is what makes it a really simple recipe. You don't have to create a syrup or anything, it just does it naturally. Let it sit in the fridge for two hours. When you're ready to serve it, just give the lemonade a stir to combine everything. Maybe give it a taste if you want more lemon juice, if you want more sugar, and just serve it over ice with some sliced lemons and it'll be so great. So this recipe, this cherry lemonade, will keep in the fridge for about 10 days. But if you think that you're not gonna get through it fast enough, I recommend just pouring it into some popsicle molds and make some cherry lemonade popsicles. So super easy way to make sure that you don't let the lemonade go bad. But I think that you're gonna love this recipe and you're definitely gonna finish it before the 10 day mark. So if you like this recipe, hey, give me a thumbs up. If there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment down below. And if you'd like to cook like I do, I release new recipes every week, so please subscribe. See you guys next time.